everyone. Welcome to the next episode of Real Estate Ramblings and also Styled by Susanna. So today I am going to mix a little bit of real estate with interior design. As many of you know, I am a full-time realtor and I am a part-time interior stylist and I get to work on an incredible television show on HGTV as a stylist it's called one of a kind and we're actually working on season two right now so but getting back to the subject of this video and that is how to make your cookie cutter home stand apart from others how to make it look different from all the other homes in your neighborhood and why is that important if you're selling your home so the first reason why it would be important is because if you've got two or three homes in your subdivision that are all similar in age size and amenities well your competition is going to be pretty stiff so what can you do to make your home win the race what can you do to sell your home quicker so i've got three suggestions for you the first one would be well actually before we get to the three suggestions i think it's always really important and you can do this with the help of a realtor which if i'm not your realtor i would love to be your realtor but it would be to take a really deep look at the properties for sale in your neighborhood and to see what it is that makes your home look similar to them and then go a step further and think well what can i do to make my home look different than their property and that's where you start so typically the first thing would be a good old coat of paint in the house and this is something that you can do yourself or of course you can hire it out but light and bright and airy is the way right now in 2019 that is what is really attracting people into homes i'm not seeing you know the deep taupes or the beiges or the darker yellows i'm seeing a ton of gray and whites warmer whites so a good fresh coat of paint never did anyone harm the second way to update and to make your cookie cutter home stand out would be updated hardware. So when I say updated hardware, I mean the cabinetry hardware in your kitchen, in your bathrooms, and all of your doorknobs in your home. So that can be really expensive. I'm not gonna lie, especially if it's gonna be done right. If you cannot afford to do all of those spots, that's okay focus on the kitchen first. If you can afford to do a little more, move on to another bathroom. If you can afford even more, then update all of your knobs around the house, all of your doorknobs, especially your um, exterior doorknobs, like a really good front door knob and lock. It just, it really makes the house look good. I know that sounds really silly and small, but I'm telling you these things work. So, the third way that you can update your cookie cutter builder grade home would be to get a new front door. So again, if you cannot afford to go out and do all of your floors, get like all new wood floors or laminate floors or tile floors, if that's out of the budget, but your door, your front door looks really similar to all the other front doors in the neighborhood, then I would suggest buying a new front door. Now, take it a step further. Don't just go to Home Depot and buy any old door. Make sure it looks nice. Make sure it's something that is appealing to people. Make sure, now here's the key, make sure it's something that will look completely different than all the other front doors in the neighborhood. Remember, you want your home to be the best house on the block. That's the key, right? So I really appreciate y'all watching. Of course, I'm going to say it again, but if you like this video, please give me a like, a thumbs up, share the video, comment on the video. I would really love to hear your feedback. If you think I'm wrong, if you think I missed something, please let me know below. If you have a real estate need, a styling need, a question, please reach out, call or text. 
and I will see y'all next time. Bye.